everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabrina and I'm so excited to have you here. On this channel we talk about all things books. We talk about book reviews, we talk about book hauls, we talk about the books I own. We just talk about a lot of book stuff and I really hope you stay, watch the whole video and click that subscribe button at the end of the video. <gasps> that was such a mouthful. Alright guys, today we're going to talk about Alright guys, today we're going to be talking- Wow! Okay guys, today we're going to be talking about all of my pink books. I did a poll this on my community tab and you guys voted pink. There is actually a new poll up right now for what you want to see next, so I will link it down below. And you can just go to my channel, click the community tab, and vote on what color you would like to see next. So this week y'all decided pink, so I've- just a few pink books. I don't have quite very many, but I'm just gonna talk about the pink books I own, if I've read them, if I liked them, and let's get started. So the first pink book I own is The Ice Cream Queen of Orchard Street. It is by Susan Jane Gilman. I actually just picked this book up for a couple dollars at Dollar General, because I literally live right next to Dollar General, and it is literally our favorite store now. <laughs> so this book is about a girl, and in 1913, she flees Russia to New York, and she is taken by a ice peddler. And finally, she falls in love with a man named Albert and her and Albert travel across America in their ice cream truck. And she self-proclaims herself as the ice cream queen of America and she, this story just spans 70 years of her life through being the ice cream queen of America. I have not read this book, I really, I did really just pick it up like maybe like a week ago. I don't think I put it in a vlog, um, I don't think I was vlogging that day, but yeah. I did, I do want to read this book. I want to put this on my summer TBR because it seems like such a summery book to read because it is like ice cream. Ice cream is really a summer treat. So I really want to read this book throughout this summer. I might put it on my summer TBR, but I think I'm going to do something different for my summer TBR this year. I'm not going to like do just like picking the books. I'm going to like let a gen number generator or something, but that's, that's another video. What? 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 What's happening, sister? Yeah? Is life hard? No? Is life hard? Okay, in case you, I don't put this in the video, me and my cat is in heat and I hate it because Dorcas gets in heat and then the next week Zelda's in heat and then we just do it all over again and the vets are still closed in Michigan so I can't even take them to the vet. So literally, my girl's just crying all the time. Come here! It's this one. She is in heat and she is not having a good time. Are you having a good time? Actually, I just found out too that tortoise cats have an attitude and it's called tortitude. It's a real thing. I had learned it at work yesterday and then I spent an hour Googling it and Dorcas quite literally has tortitude. Do you have tortitude? Yeah, I love you. Okay, are you just gonna sit here with me? Okay, but you can't sit there. I gotta use my hands. Do you wanna sit on the top of the chair? Well, apparently we have Dorcas filming with us today. The next book I have is The Lovely War by Julie Berry. I've heard a lot of awesome things about this book and I'm not even gonna attempt to like tell you what it's about. I'm just gonna read you the synopsis because this book seems really confusing but I heard such good amazing things. This story is about a pianist in London and a British would-be architect turned soldier and a Harlem born ragtime genius that is in the US Army and a Belgian orphan with gorgeous voice and a devastating past. Their stories are told by the goddess Aphrodite who must spin a tale and face judge or face judge on Mount Olympus is filled with hope, heartbreak, prejudice, and passion and reveals that through war is a formidable force. There is no force of the translucent powder of love. I really want to read this book. I've heard amazing things about it from Haley and Brooklyn. I've seen that Pastel Pages talked about it. I really want to read this book, but I struggle lately with reading, so I'm really hoping I'll be able to get to it. It seems like it's going to be such an amazing book. I did purchase this book, and I just, I really want to read it. So. The next book has a sticker on it, because I got it from Goodwill, and Goodwill had this such annoying sticker on the front. But this book is The Rooftops of Tan. I cannot say that city name, so if I'm saying that right, Right, applaud me. By Mohammed? Mohammed? That's not Mohammed. It ends with a B. Mohammed? Sergei? Mohammed Sergei? I really hope I said that right. This book is about. Hey, if you bend my book, we're gonna fight. Oh, you're gonna fall. This book is about Iran, and while the war is going on, it follows lovers. And this looks so 
like it's gonna be a really good book. I think it's gonna kind of open my eyes to a if I know a little bit about their culture, a little bit about their religion, but all in a whole, I don't know a whole lot. So I'm really excited to read this book and kind of open my eyes a lot. I have not read it, bought it at Goodwill, and I just it's one of those books where I feel like you have to be in the mood. The next book I have is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I really hope I said that name right. This book is about the president of the United States son and the Prince of England are gay lovers and do I need to tell you about all the gay love stories that I've been reading lately because there's a lot. I have about two hours left in my audiobook. I'm listening to this. As you guys know, I have a super long drive to work, so I listen to audiobooks in and out. I'm almost over this book. It's not as good as I expected it to be, but it's still good because I have an issue listening to queer love stories. I'm listening to this right now. It's really good so far. A lot of things that turn me off is that they email each other, and in the book, it's set up like an email, like when you would open your email, but when you're listening to it, it gets a little confusing. But in the book, it's set up like an email, but on audiobook, it's kind of just set up like a like they're talking and it's a little confusing but I'm liking this book so far I'm giving it like a 7 out of 10 so far we'll see how it progresses get your butt out of my face the next book I have is The Right Swipe by Alicia Rye. This book is about a girl who creates a dating app and she is trying to find love herself. I have not read this book yet. I You were scratching. I heard Haley and Bookland talk a lot about it. I really want to read this book. I heard it was super good and I think it's just going to be such a cute little read. I'm in love with romance novels lately. That's like all I've been reading. It's a problem. You were scratching me, honey. That is all the pink books I own. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you should like this video. You should comment and subscribe to my channel. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're a first time viewer here, hi, my name's Sabrina. We have a lot of fun here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something.